everyone thinks, well, why is this crazy guy adding two jet engines to his pits? Well, firstly, because you can, although there's a lot of regulatory hurdles to get through. So far, so good. We've flown about seven times. The test flying is going well and it doesn't have any adverse handling characteristics. And I'm hopeful that we will get it fully authorized for this display season. And many people ask me, what's the point? Um, well, as you know, air shows are all about inspiring other people and producing uh, something for our younger generation to hang the hat on and, and study hard for and um, maybe develop a career in aviation or engineering. We've added two jet turbines to the aeroplane. Uh, each jet turbine produces 350 pounds of thrust. In theory, it should be able to hover like a Harrier, for those of you who can remember what a Harrier was. Um, it's easier said than done though, because it doesn't have all the same controls as a Harrier, but um, it's basically a poor man's Harrier built in my shed in the back garden. It's certainly very exciting to fly. Normally we go along the runway and we accelerate, once we're in the air, we accelerate to 130, 140 knots before we can start doing any manoeuvring. But this aeroplane, you know, you get airborne at 60 or 70 knots and then just ease it into the vertical and go straight up. You may well have seen the Typhoon do that sort of manoeuvre. If I wanted to be a rich man, I wouldn't be flying um, aeroplanes at air shows. It's not a sort of uh, money-making business. This is a passion for me. And um, I'm very fortunate to have a sponsor that uh, help with the costs of everything because these jet turbines are not cheap. All the fuel that goes in it is not cheap. The hangarage isn't cheap. And I don't have a big team around me. There's basically me and, and me and me and me. Mm -hmm. 